there's no doubt season four was a success and a lot of players are having fun. It is the best season so far to date for Diablo 4. However, with all these accolades, with players having more fun and playing longer into a season than any other season before season four, as we approach the campfire chat and we learn more about the PTR for season five, a lot of discussion is coming to the surface around what can be fixed and enhanced in Diablo 4 for season five. Now I can talk about all these talking points and actually we've talked about it live on my stream. By the way, most of you watch my content and do not subscribe. So if you can like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it would immensely help my channel grow and I would appreciate the support. And you can also come and watch me live on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. Love to have you. We can debate anything you want. Now, with that out of the way, let's get back to the topic at hand. So, Season 4 was a success, but we're getting to the point in Season 4 where now, time with time under the player's belt, we're getting to the repetitious mode of a season. And that surfaces when there's a lot of lacking in the game. And although Season 4 is going to be a huge success when you look and compare it to the other seasons, a lot of people are talking about the future and what potentially could be introduced in season five, since we have the campfire chat coming to discuss and learn about what the PTR for season five is gonna have. But I can go on about all these talking points that people are talking about. You know, fixes like they need to add in season five seasonal mechanic they didn't in season four they would like to see the introduction again of a seasonal mechanic giving more content they'd like to see more content in general the game lacks content and also they would like the diablo 4 dev team to not just continue with this theme of when they introduce a new season all they're really doing is fixing the past problems of other seasons. They'd actually like to see the game grow and added to, not just every season is about fixing past problems. I could talk about the issue with tempering and masterworking, that it needs a redo. There's problems with bricking items. There's problems with the cost associated to doing tempering and masterworking. More specifically, sorry, the cost associated to master working. And of course, people are upset about items being bricked, especially if they have greater affixes. We could talk about the fact that mythical slash uber uniques don't have a wow moment in the game. Top end gear and weapons in other games, when they drop, it's an aha moment. It's a holy crap, I can't believe I got it. It's a viral moment. And with Diablo 4 and the mythical, mythic, mythic, sorry, and uber uniques, they just don't have that anymore. And actually, some of the mythic uber uniques are discarded. They're not even used in some of the builds. And that shouldn't be the case. When these items drop, and they're rare, super rare, this should be an aha moment and it's not. So I could talk about how they could fix that in season five. I could talk about how in class, in season five, sorry, they need to balance all the classes in the game because every season, one or two rise, one or two fall. There's always that yin and yang performance issue with the classes in Diablo 4. And that needs to stop. We need to have class balance. I could talk about that and how that could be fixed in season five. And then we could talk about what is probably being one of the most popular discussions is about loadouts. It's about group finders. All these things are things that we could talk about potential improvements in season five. But I'm not going to go there because you know what? I agree with most of what's being discussed in the forums and from co other content creators and on my live streams. But 
I like to, when you're solving a problem, you need to get to the root of the problem if you truly, truly want to fix the issue. And there is one constant, consistent problem that is in this game, and it's a constant fabric in every season going back all the way to when the game was first announced. And if we fix that, that all these problems that we have will go away eventually. And that is basically the Diablo 4 dev team need to get out of the way. They are micromanaging everything. They're putting stop gaps into everything. They're not listening as much as they should listen. Now, I do want to applaud them. They have elevated their listening skills. And I would argue because of that, we got season four. So I'm not saying they're not listening 100%, but they are getting in the way of themselves. And so, Sammy, what the hell are you talking about? What does that mean? Well, if we quickly go over some of the potential fixes that people are talking about for season five, okay? I could give you examples of what is what mechanic is in the game introduced and made by the Diablo 4 dev team that supports my theory that they are micromanaging our play time and how our play design is designed, okay? And so seasonal mechanics. Well, they didn't add a seasonal mechanic because I just think they were too busy with Loot Reborn 2.0 and fixing that problem. So that was just a time management issue. But adding content and not just fixing prior problems, again, that requires ingenuity, creativity, something that, and I can only go with what we've seen. It's not what you say, it's what's actually delivered. There isn't any. Tempering and masterworking, bricking items. Okay, so tempering, what mechanic has the dev team put in place that makes us have to spend so much time and so much money on getting the ideal state item? And so in tempering, I don't know about you guys, but I've tempered a lot of gear and weapons in Diablo 4 in Season 4, a lot. And when you're hitting that button and you're rolling all the affixes on that one specific temper manual that you're trying to get, they're just, it's too obvious. The same affixes pop up over and over. To me, it looks like the house always wins. So again, I would suspect that the dev team have some sort of rolling percentage system within each temper manual, and they heavily put the tempers that we don't want to show up over the ones that we do want. And those have a low probability of us getting them. So they're rigging the system, if I can say that. When it comes to master working, how have they stop gapped and micromanaged us getting ideal master working on our gear and weapons in order to min max our characters? Well, the stop gap is the money and materials associated to master working. Like, have you tried re-rolling the same item over and over? It's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars to do that. And when you have an item that has two greater affixes, three greater affixes that are perfect for your character, well, you're gonna re-roll that item and it's gonna cost you a fortune. Now they've reduced the cost, but yet, it's still expensive. And that's another stopgap that's programmed into the game by the devs that keeps you going around and around and around that hamster wheel. And again, micromanaging the fun out of the game. And Uber Uniques, Mythic Uniques, however you want to call them, there is no wow. Number one, they are impossible to get to drop, literally impossible. And again, they've increased the chances of getting them. They've increased the chance, they've given us more ways 
to attain Mythic Uber Uniques. Granted, steps forward. However, it's still a grind, and I don't have a problem with the grind. I love grindy games. It's why I play ARPGs. However, when you have to grind, when you have to hope and play this game forever in order to get one, and then when you do get one, it's not an aha moment. It's not a wow moment because you can't do anything with Mythic and Uber Uniques. And what I'm saying is they introduced a new mechanic into the game, tempering and masterworking. And we can't, we can't do that with Mythic and Uber Uniques. We can't. And the affixes that are on them, although amazing, some people, now that we can temper and masterwork our own gear, choose a masterwork tempered item over a Mythic Uber Unique. And that shouldn't be the case. That should not be the case. That is not the case in other games games it's not so that needs to be fixed but again stopgap micromanaged class balance yin and yang every season one or two classes go up one or two classes go down druid used to be tanky and nice to play necromancer used to be slow and no one played it those roles have reversed during the four seasons why do we even have classes that suck they shouldn't every class should have multiple builds build options and all of them should be playable and be able to create to complete the content all the content not just be a super speedy leveler but suck in the end game and pit it shouldn't be like that okay uh that's what i suggest needs to happen for ptr sorry for season five and that is the devs need to stop micromanaging the game and and stop taking the fun factor out of the game they need to just let the players play now when i say they need to take they need to stop adding the stop gaps in the game i'm not saying everything should be handed to us quickly easily and and f f with no effort this is an ARPG. It should be grindy. It should take effort and time and strategy to get um, min maxed, your character maxed out. It should take time. I don't want things personally handed to me on a silver platter. I want to work for it because when you work for something and it takes a lot of effort and sweat to get it, when you do get it and attain it, it makes it that more enjoyable. So stop taking the fun out of the game, Blizzard. Why are you putting these stop? Well, I know why. I've been saying this since day one, and that is they don't have a complete product. And when you don't have a complete product, you need to put stop gaps to delay and stop the progress being so quickly now they've increased the xp it's easier to get to level 100 it's quicker to get with 100 however people are getting to 100 and the end game is non-existent not everybody wants to grind the pit there needs to be variety but the point of this video is a lot of discussion right now is surfaced about what fixes need to happen in season five because we have the campfire chat coming in a couple of days well to me there's one problem and that's the dev team getting in the way of the game being fun that needs to be eliminated and they need to use these they have started doing that but they need to do it a hundred percent this game if they would have listened going all the way back to day one when all the people they invited to test the game prior to the launch and they got pages and pages and pages of feedback on what all the problems were and what they needed to do and they just tossed it all aside and went ahead with what they thought the game should be and well you know what we got we got season one two and three 
which were an utter disaster outside of season two being a little better. Okay, so that's what needs to happen. We can talk about all the minutia details, end game, class balance, at seasonal mechanic. Yes, 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 yes. However, they can add all those things, but if they're still micromanaging and taking the fun out of those activities, we're back to where we are today. So this is why they need to take and get that mindset out of the game on how they manage the game. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts. I know these are, my opinion is a pretty strong opinion and sorry, this is not directed at one person at Blizzard. This is more in general. They need to take that seriously and stop micromanaging the game. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know, have you stopped playing uh, season four? Are you still playing season four? Look, no doubt about it. I, this is the longest I've played into a season, season four by a long shot. I think I have three level 100s with like five or six hardcore deaths in the 60s and 50s. So I played the stink out of season four. So it was the most enjoyable season to date for me personally. And I know for a lot of other players in, in a long time. So great, great, the, 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 platform right now in in diablo 4 has potential to be catapult catapulted with the right mindset when it comes to managing this game let me know your thoughts let me know what you think anyway as i said earlier a lot of you watch my content and you do not subscribe to the channel if you could please subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it we want to hit as many people and get my video seen to as many people as possible that can only be done if you subscribe to my channel so your support would mean the world to me if you could subscribe i would appreciate it and like i said earlier as well come and debate me come and have a chat let me know come and just say hello uh, i live stream every evening 7 p.m 7 30 eastern standard time on twitch sammy caps is the channel name i'd love to talk to you love to say hello to you come on by anyway Thanks for watching, everybody, and as always, we we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.